Yo, what's up guys? Operation Velvet Shell is finally here, so I'm here to walk through all the new stuff from this update. So the first thing you're probably gonna notice is the new menu system. Yep, they changed it up and try to make everything look clean and more accessible from all on one page and it looks pretty damn good to me. So, at the bottom left we now have the daily challenges and little circles have been replaced by a uh, new progress bar. So yeah, that looks much cleaner too. At the top left, hit that, you're gonna see information about the update. Top right, you can activate boosters. Bottom right is a Ubisoft club and at the bottom we have the new uh, newswire. At the very top right here is something they call the personalized play button. Whatever game mode you were in last, you don't have to select it, you just hit this button, it's gonna automatically send you back there. Whether it was casual or terrorist hunt or ranked, you name it. Click that button, send you right back into that game mode. Next up, there's a new matchmaking system. How this works is it pulls together 10 players, then distributes all of them on a team, and then the match starts. It's supposed to speed up matchmaking time, and it actually does. If you look at this, let's see how long it takes for me to find a match. 14. And there we go. 18 seconds. <laughs> This is much faster than last season where it took up to 2 or 3 minutes to find a match sometimes, so yeah, new matchmaking system is working pretty good. If you press a little arrow to the right, that's going to take you into the play section, so the live section has been taken out and replaced by this new home section for easier navigation. Now onto the real reason we're all excited for Velvet Shell, the new operators. So first up on the attacking side we have Jackal. His loadout is a C7E assault rifle, a PDW9 SMG, and an ITA-12L shotgun. For his secondary, he has an ITA-12S shotgun and a USP-40 handgun, and gadgets are breaching charges and flashbangs. Now onto the defender Mira, the only difference in her loadout is she has the Vector 45 ACP. This gun unfortunately does not come with an ACOG sight, which kind of sucks because I was looking forward to using that but it has a ton of fire rate and this thing is so accurate. They also changed the reflex sight and it now looks much worse. It's all blurry, it has this trail following it and it's much brighter as compared to last season which I, I kind of preferred last season's reflex sight. So unfortunately I'm going to have to start by using the holographic sight. And this is where I'm going to leave you because everything from this point on is just skins, charms, headgears, new uniforms and stuff like that. So if you enjoyed this video, you could leave a like or comment down below. And you can subscribe and stick around for more videos like this because I'm going to cover the actual operators and their abilities up next. And you can follow me on Twitter at VenomECG for channel and video updates and check out what I'm working on. Well, yep, that's it guys. Thanks for watching.